Hello Hillians! Today we're going to learn a fairly easy glitch that allows you to get 5 additional spirit orbs after receiving one from a shrine. We'll be able to transform any material like wood and change it into spirit orbs. I'm Nico and I love helping people in Zelda games, so if you're looking for more Zelda content I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. If you've learned the material transformation glitch, it's basically the same thing. Check the link in the description to learn that glitch if you're interested. In this video, we're going to transform wood into spirit orbs. First, activate a shrine that you can easily get a spirit orb from. You can also complete the shrine or defeat the enemies so you can easily get to the spirit orb if necessary. You'll see why later in the video. You'll need to have zero spirit orbs in your inventory. And head to a merchant that you can sell materials to. Next, you have to overload your menu. If you don't know how to overload your menu, here's a previous video of me explaining how to do it. You need to equip Link with a multi-shot bow and a lightning arrow. Go to the overworld, make sure Link is holding the bow. This is a common detail that people forget to do. Go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Do this until Link looks funny or disappears. And now the menu is overloaded. For multi-shot bows, you can defeat some Lynels, or go to the shrine by the Yiga hideout. You should fight one foot soldier on the way to the hideout, then drop down the cliff for another. Then, three of them in front of the hideout. And one more bow laying on the ground inside the entrance of the Yiga clan hideout. If you need a 7th bow, you can either go to the end of the hideout for another duplex bow, or go to the small cave in the Lanaru wetlands. There is the forest dweller bow inside there. And if you didn't open this chest yet, there's one forest dweller bow in the chest on Satori Mountain. After the menu is overloaded, go to the material that you don't need anymore because it will be transformed. I'm going to use wood, and you need to have at least 6. Hold 5 of them, and then you can pick up your bows after overloading. You don't need to do this part, but if you look in your inventory, you'll see that Link is holding invisible materials, and that's what you want. Again, you don't have to do this if you know you overloaded correctly. Either way, go and sell the rest of your wood. From here, the next thing you pick up that's not in your inventory will be duplicated. So we're going to go to that unfinished shrine, then grab the spirit orb. When you receive it, press plus to go in your inventory, then press X while in the inventory and Link will put this invisible materials in his pocket and they will become spirit orbs. Yay, we did it! Again, I do have a video doing this glitch allowing you to duplicate materials and another video allowing you to duplicate hearts and stamina. I hope you find this and those videos useful. Let us know if the glitches worked for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.